Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor. In this short screencast, I just want to welcome you to class and show you a few tricks that will help you get off to a fast start in any of my classes. Here we are at the JCCC homepage and all of our classes now are taught through a learning management system called Canvas. To get to Canvas where all of our course materials, syllabus, grades, assignments are located, we go to the home page for JCCC, then log in and go to Canvas. Or a shortcut is just merely to go to canvas.jccc.edu directly and you will be presented with login page. You'll put your user name there and your password in the next box, click login, and voila, you'll be at Canvas. Now the first thing that's presented is a dashboard which gives you these big icons on all the classes you're taking, or in my case teaching. At this point, you're going to see a big menu bar here on the left. This big menu bar is really for the global things you might want to do, like change your account, look at your dashboard, look at your courses, which is really the same thing as your dashboard, only in links. Look at your calendar to see globally what's going on in all your classes. Here we are at July 2018, nothing's going on because it's the middle of the summer and I'm not teaching this summer, but if I forward over to October, for example, then it will populate with all the due dates for all my classes. So I can quickly see at a glance what is due that week, and in my case, what I have to grade that week. The inbox is the email inbox for all of my classes. But I do want to show you that you have different folders here, and if you want to look at the sent email you sent, just click that sent folder, and I have sent out one email to my first Web 110 HTML and CSS class that starts this fall and that's just a welcome email and to remind you to use email when you have a question that's personal or about your grade but if you have a question that's about the class materials I'd appreciate it if you use the discussion topics that I provide for each week we're gonna look at those next and the reason for that is because if you have a question about the class material I guarantee others do as well and then everyone can benefit from that Q&A. The JCCC assistance link is for the Technical Support Center and also the help manuals in Canvas should you need that. But let's get into a specific course versus looking at the global menu. Let's go to courses and click the link for my first HTML and CSS Web 110 class that starts this fall. And now once you click a link for a specific course, you see the submenu and these items deal with only the course you're currently working in. And you're welcome to go through all these links and just poke around in the class and see what there is to see. I have all the materials for the entire class open at all times. That is not meant to be overwhelming, that is just meant to give you vision so you know exactly where we're driving the bus. But in order to keep this simple and streamlined, I have also provided everything in a sequential way off this home link. So if you get in the weeds down here, just go back to the home link and you'll see each week what we're going to be doing laid out. For example, class starts on 822.18, and I want you to do four things. I want you to introduce yourself in the discussion threads. I want you to go to my YouTubes and Resources homepage and get familiar with that. I want you to look at the syllabus, print it, and read it. That's actually our official contract for the class. And then there's another discussion thread about questions about the syllabus or getting started. By 829.18, I want you to do these things. And generally, every chapter has three or four things associated with it. The first thing is that every chapter has data files. So as you're going through your book, which is wonderful, it's a nice teaching textbook that explains material in the order in which you need it, there are little hands-on exercises within each chapter. And instead of creating all the data files, all the web pages from scratch, at times the author is going to give you a partially completed web page and then ask you to add a list, add links, add an image, whatever the material is that we're learning. And so that's where each chapter's data files comes in. You'll want to download those, unzip them into a folder on your computer, and you'll use that to learn the material in the chapter. I don't grade the data files and the work you do in each chapter. But I will guarantee you that if you simply do those little hands-on exercises, you will be well prepared to do the graded materials that I ask you to do 
Also, each chapter has a quiz. It's online. It's open book. It's open note. It's just a way to reinforce terminology and concepts and make sure you get really cozy with your book. Because I'm telling you, the way you're going to learn this material is by keeping up with it week by week by week and doing these little hands-on exercises that lay out the concepts step by step by step. By the time we get to chapter two, there's one more item that's listed. It's Chapter 2, Pacific Trails, it's worth 10 points. You see on the graded items, the point value listed. The Pacific Trails project is at the end of the chapter. So again, in Chapter 2, you're going through a bunch of little hands-on exercises within the chapter that are not graded. And then at the end of the chapter, we're going to start a cumulative project called Pacific Trails, where we're going to build a website from start to finish. And if you've done the little hands-on exercises within the chapter, if you've done those little warm-up exercises, you will be well prepared to do Pacific Trails. If you don't download these data files and you don't do those little warm-up exercises and you get to Pacific Trails and say, well, I'm just going to do Pacific Trails cold, it generally doesn't work very well for you. Now, the great thing about these little hands-on exercises in each chapter is they're not very long, but there's a special learning mechanism that happens when you actually do the hands-on coding yourself. So I really encourage you to download these little data files for each chapter and do them before you attempt to go to the end of the chapter and do your Pacific Trails project. After we get through chapter two, three, and four, you'll see that these chapters look very similar. These weeks look very similar because we'll just be going through the book chapter after chapter doing the little hands-on exercises to prepare ourselves for Pacific Trails, taking a quiz on the items, and that's pretty much how it rolls. Now, if you get inside one of these links, I want to show you something else. This is a discussion topic link, and you might reply to this, and here's my introduction. I've replied to it. I want you to see that in the lower right-hand corner, there's a Next button. And if you click that Next button, it simply takes you to that next item on the list. And then this one's much shorter. It's just the link to the YouTubes and resources for my class. If I click Next, here's that third item, the syllabus. It's a PDF file. This is your official contract with me. I want you to download that, print it. It has all the information, such as the textbook, the course of description, the course objectives, the entire outline for the entire course, grades and the weekly assignments, you know, so it's just organized in one nice document so that it's easier for you to digest than going through this whole website. I'm going to click next and now I'm to another discussion topic. Every week I ask you questions on that topic and hopefully you'll just feel really comfortable putting all your questions here so that we can all benefit from the Q&A. Now, if you ever get lost in this, remember, just go back to the home button and you can expand and collapse these sections as we're going through the class. But this is what we do in the class. We go through all of these chapters, doing hands-on exercises, doing the Pacific Trails project, and doing quizzes. And after about three weeks of this, you'll have that rhythm down real well. And keeping up with each week is going to be your key to success. Now there's one more thing I want to talk about and it's introduced here in our first week and that is my home page of YouTubes and resources. I'm going to click that link and that's going to take you to this page. And so here this YouTube that we're watching is a start here YouTube and I want you to know that I've created a number of YouTubes for all of my classes. The YouTube links are in red whereas the blue links are just interesting information that we'll be accessing from time to time. Now for Web 110, HTML and CSS, we have nine objectives. So if you're interested in looking at where this big bus is going and what skills you're going to master, you might want to go through these objectives. But these objective YouTubes are not intended to teach you these concepts. They're just intended to show you what you're going to be able to do once you learn the material. If you're brand new to HTML and CSS, building web pages, then you're just going to want to start going through these YouTubes sequentially. These first two categories, introductory material and good things to know, you're probably going to want to go through in the first week or two of class. And don't worry, they're very short YouTubes. They're only five to ten minutes long a piece, but they're intended to give you the knowledge you need when you need it. 
very shortly into chapter two. We're going to get into HTML and CSS validation. We're going to be doing hyperlinks. I believe by chapter four, we get into images. Chapter five, we start going into cascading style sheets and style our pages. So you'll pretty much know based on the material in the book when you need these YouTubes. But you can watch them as early or as often in the class as you want to help supplement the material that you're learning in the book. I know I've said a lot here, but now it's just time to hand it back to you. Get in here, start going through the links, start posting questions as they come to you, and I will be responsive and do my best to help you learn HTML and CSS, which are the foundational building blocks of building a web page. It's really an exciting class. I really love teaching it, and I'm glad you're here. Thank you.